In October of 2017, something absolutely incredible took place. For the very first time in recorded history, scientists spotted an object entering our solar system, not from within, but from the great unknown of interstellar space. It was traveling much too quickly and at an angle that clearly indicated that this was not a regular solar system visitor like an asteroid or comet. This was different, other, with its own secrets from another world. They gave it the name Umuamua, a Hawaiian word that means scout or masager from distant places. It was a name appropriate to its nature. From the instant it was seen, Umuamua was one of the most enigmatic and contentious topics in contemporary astronomy, a stellar visitor that appeared to have a message inscribed in the language of stars. From the very beginning, scientists realized that this object was acting unlike anything we had ever seen before. For one, its form was actually elongated to an absurd degree, as opposed to most natural space rocks, which are round, potato-like, or irregular in shape but never stretched out as much. It looked like a giant tumbling cigar or, depending on how you shaped it, a pancake flatly flipping through space. Its spin was unusual too, almost like a baton thrown into the air, spinning end over end, with no discernible pattern. Even more confounding, as it flew by the sun, it did not act like a comet. No glowing tail, no radiant halo of vapor or dust that usually bursts forth when frozen material approaches a star and sublimates. And yet somehow it sped up as it receded from the sun, an action that could not be accounted for by gravity alone. The lack of visible outgassing only raised more questions than answers, making scientists re-examine what they had believed they understood about cosmic bodies. Since then, Umuamua has awakened every type of speculation, from the science-minded to the extravagantly provocative. Some scientists asked whether it was a piece of hydrogen ice, gradually sublimating undetected. Others ventured that it might be a fragment of a broken-up exoplanet, torn asunder by some gigantic cosmic energy. And there were the hypotheses that made headlines around the globe. Was it perhaps something more man-made? Was it an old probe, a stranded spacecraft, or even a light sail from an extraterrestrial civilization? Although most scientists were loath to make such assumptions, the fact that the conventional explanations could not explain all of its oddities left room for speculation. No matter how hard astronomers looked, no one explanation could adequately explain all of its aspects. The enigma only grew as Umuamua kept its silent travel out of the solar system, meandering beyond the capabilities of most ground-based telescopes. For decades, it became a symbol of cosmic mystery, an open question flying into the unknown. That mystery persisted until the James Webb Space Telescope came onto the scene. Launched in December 2021, Webb was designed to provide answers to the universe's oldest and most profound questions. Unlike previous telescopes, Webb looks in the infrared part of the spectrum, which enables it to look through dust in the universe, spot distant heat signals that are too weak to see, and observe otherwise hidden details of distant worlds and galaxies. Its instruments are so precise that they can detect the brightness of planets around other stars or sense the fingerprints of molecules drifting light years away. Of course, when astronomers directed Webb toward the now far-off Oumuamua, they were hoping to reveal secrets that had been lost for decades. And for the first time, they managed to take images and data that gave a better picture of the enigmatic visitor from another star. What they were seeing was breathtaking. Webb confirmed what preliminary calculations had only suggested, Oumuamua's shape was actually elongated and asymmetrical, much more so than any known asteroid or comet. Its body was scarred and withered, heavily pockmarked by grooves and craters that spoke of a long, solitary journey through the depths of space. Every scratch on its surface was proof of impacts with micrometeoroids, of relentless pummeling by cosmic rays, and of radiation that had gradually transformed its outer layers. This wear and tear implied that Umiwamua had been cruising around the galaxy for perhaps billions of years, making it an old relic, a survivor from a distant location far beyond our solar neighborhood. Even more fascinating was its makeup. Webb's instruments saw strange materials on its surface that are extremely uncommon in our solar system. Included among them were complex organic chemicals, molecules made of carbon, commonly found with the chemistry of life, and metallic and mineral elements that did not fit the usual composition of comets or asteroids born in our sun. 
This indicated that Umiwamiwa was formed in a star system very different from our own, a system with unique conditions and chemistry. Perhaps it was born in a younger, more violent system where planets were still forming and colliding, or perhaps in one enriched with elements not found in large amounts near our sun. The implications were profound. Umiwamiwa was not only a guest, it was a sample, an indication that the galaxy teems with diversity and richness that we never could have conceived. But the most fundamental question remained unanswerable. Why did it speed up as it departed from the solar system? Without any apparent appearance of gas jets or steam trails, classic cometary theories were no longer viable. Webb's measurements implied something extraordinary. Others suggested that the acceleration was due to radiation pressure, the soft but unrelenting nudge of photons emanating from the sun. Under normal circumstances, such an effect would be small, but if Umiwamiwa was very thin or reflective, like a solar sail, then it might be driven by sunlight itself. This opened a staggering prospect. Either nature had done something to create a structure that replicated the technology that humans had only imagined, or, possibly, it was actually a created object, traveling through the galaxy for reasons unforeseen. Closer examination showed that Umiwamiwa's surface was reflective in peculiar ways, indicating the existence of very reflective material within its crust. This would account both for its brightness and its bizarre acceleration. Webb also collected chemical residue that suggested violent beginnings. Some scientists now think Umiwamiwa could have been born in a tumultuous young star system where gravitational forces tore apart planets and hurled debris into interstellar space. One particularly sensational theory is that it is the torn apart remnant of a planet destroyed by a close black hole or giant star. An event such as this would stretch and deform hard rock into long pieces of rock before flinging them out. If this were the case, then Umiwamiwa was not merely a rock, it was a remnant of planetary destruction, a solitary survivor from a system no longer in existence. The fact that it may not be alone is every bit as fascinating. If one such piece of debris made its way into our solar system, there are countless others that could be floating quietly through the galaxy, undetected until they happen to fly by a star like our own. The revelation that organic material was on Umiwamiwa's surface added another layer to the enigma. Might it have had the building blocks of life on board? Did bits like these serve as cosmic messengers, sowing star systems with the chemistry of life? This hypothesis, called panspermia, has captured the imagination of scientists for centuries. If Umiwamiwa was transporting such substances, then its trajectory through space was not a matter of chance. It was part of an even greater cosmic process, one that could unify life throughout the galaxy. Its temporary transit of our solar system gave astronomers an unusual window into these processes in action. By examining it, scientists could learn more about how stars and planets are born, destroyed, and distribute materials throughout the galaxy. Each aspect of Umiwamiwa's form and composition was a clue to cosmic history on the largest possible scale. It was as if a message in a bottle had washed up on the shores of our solar system, carrying knowledge from a world we will never see. The lessons from Umiwamiwa also shaped the future. With its strange characteristics now better understood, space agencies are considering missions designed to intercept similar interstellar objects. If someday scientists were able to send a spacecraft to catch up to such a visitor, maybe even gather samples, the knowledge that might be learned could be groundbreaking. What type of star system did Umiwamiwa originate from? How frequent are these messengers? And might they really harbor seeds of life from one star to the next? These are questions that no single telescope is able to completely answer. Until now, what we have learned is that Umiwamiwa has defied and reformed our knowledge of the universe. It has taught us that the universe is not static but vibrant with surprises, and that our solar system is but a single small node within a huge, networked web of galaxies. Whatever Umiwamiwa was, a natural shard of some raised planet or an artificial and intentional creation, it has already changed how we consider the potential for life and technology in the cosmos. Its tale has also given rise to a fresh generation of interstellar dreams. Initiatives such as Breakthrough Starshot, which focus on launching ultralight probes pushed by powerful lasers towards nearby stars, now appear all the more imperative. The fact that objects such as Umiwamiwa travel through our solar system is a reminder we are not alone. 
We exist in a galaxy in which matter and maybe even information move around stars all the time. If we can figure out how to intercept and analyze these messengers, we might gain insights that bring us closer to knowing our role in the universe. Ultimately, Umuamua is not only an object that traveled briefly across our horizon. It is an invitation from the cosmos to dream, to seek, to wonder. It reminds us that no matter how small humanity is, the boundaries of our curiosity are limitless. The universe still has the capacity to surprise us in ways that are humbling and awe-inspiring. Umiwamua, the interstellar messenger, is only the start of what lies beyond. What mysteries remain unrevealed in the shadowy places among stars? Only time, and our dogged determination for knowledge, can now uncover them.